So this is uh, the beautiful little place called uh, Borata. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick tour around. It's where I stayed last night. And um, we're going for a bit of a wander to collect some water. I'll just show you what the town looks like. So the school's just down the road a little bit. It's a free school run by Hope. And, uh, So we made it to the mountain site here where they collect their water from. And uh, there's the line up. And, uh, straight from the mountain this one, so it looks pretty nice. Now this is the Hope School. And there's some boys just coming out of the toilet. Uh, this is it, the office just here. Yeah, staff room, nursery, which is the uh, little kindergarten kids, and we've got one classroom, two classrooms, three classrooms, four classrooms, five classrooms, and that's the toilets. And uh, this is what they look like. It's beautiful little kids. And, uh, they're just doing their exams right now. And we've got questions like this. There and there. Um, and and that's this is class three, so this is grade three maths exam. And they're doing perimeter questions. It's pretty hard for grade three, so there you go. Just wanted to show you a few questions. And this is here in the Nepalese school. This is for kids who can't afford to come to school otherwise. And so uh, they're just getting a free education through Hope. Just got a game of Giants treasure going on. And I've uh, got to tell you, Nepalese kids look just as guilty as Aussie kids when they're moving around. I played some octopus before and uh, the old standing still trick. I love how they. Figure standing still means shuffle slowly but not run. So they're getting close to the treasure here. It's a good hiding spot there. Watch this for a move. And Laura are victorious. <laughs> <laughs> the old camera in the hand. Works every time. We're playing first to ten here. See if they can catch ten before ten hit the ground. Five coming at once. Oh, one, two, three, four to one. I caught three. Four, four. Oh, thank you. Good job. Good catch. Show me, show me your stuff. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Ronaldinho. Oh. That's good. I see this. I'll go film these guys. So apparently it costs only $200 a month to keep this school running. They're going to be hacky sack superstars one day. It's just a bunch of rubber bands tied together. Can you show for the camera? This up here. A bunch of rubber bands. Whoa! Oh good. I tell you, it's really good to see school folders being used in the appropriate manner. So basically they've got their sports equipment from Office Works here. And uh, just 
training coordination all through. It's, it must be a school sport, this folder, folder volleyball or tennis or something. I think these girls are playing a much kinder version. And they're playing like rubber band ball volleyball here. There's the ball. Next in, I guess. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Next in. Say hello. Hello. Beautiful little kids here. Hey. You show? She's embarrassed. Go. What is what is your name? Excellent. And how old are you? Ten years old. So, uh, do you do the cooking at home? The cooking and the washing. You do washing for yourself and collect water also. Get water. No, don't get water. And do you sweep the house? Sweep the house. And you still come to school. Ah, very good. Have you got some schoolwork to show? So he's now drawing me a fish. And uh, this is his favourite animal. We'll be back with the finished product. So here's the after, after pictures. This is what he's been drawing. Can you tell me anything else about this young man? Uh, yeah, he is uh, he's, uh, very talented, very poor, but uh, he's a highly talented uh, boy. Uh, the amazing thing is uh, he, uh, he lives with his uncle. His, his father deserted the family a year back. His mother is also abroad. So he lives by himself with his uncle. Yep. And uh, he always on the time. He does all the household things like uh, he cooks the food, he washes his clothes, he, uh, he sweeps the house, he, he, he does shopping and uh, the amazing thing is yet he is the first boy in the class. He has got very good handwriting, he, he, he always finishes his home task and I think the God has given him amazing talent. Yeah, it looks Thank like you. it. No worries. He's doing a good job here. So I just, yeah, I reckon that's awesome. It's got this opportunity to come here. And so for all you slackers at school who don't get your homework done, there's no more excuses to make after seeing this kid does all that and he's still coming here to school. Legendary. Uh, here we go. Okay, now I'll show you.